I'm Richard Saxton, my guest on Tita Green at the Sherwood Country Club at the Shark Shootout is Lee Jansen, who's had a terrific career and uh, you statistically, uh, I guess, are in the uh, some record book for having so many wins in the last four years, being under the age of 40. You've really done well in a short period of time. Thank you. Um, you know, there's a lot of great players on tour, and they set standards that we all try and follow. And you know, Greg Norman, and Nick Price are definitely two that you think of, and Freddie Couples. And um, as long as they keep winning tournaments, the rest of us are going to keep trying to win tournaments too. You won the U.S. Open. Did that change your life uh, substantially from a business standpoint? Well, it will definitely affect it for the rest of my life. You know, how much it affects, I don't know. Um, um, you know, that, that's really not always just the person who wins the U.S. Open, but their personality and, and sometimes their management group, how good they are, too. But, uh, you know, definitely it, it makes an impact on it. Talk about the management group. Who manages your business? Well, um, my, as a sports, my sports management group is Leader Enterprises. And then, uh, of course, we have numbers of people trying to give us good advice. And, and hopefully they're all giving us good advice, but uh, there's a number of people. What specifically do your managers do for you? Well, uh, Leader Enterprises, they, they, um, you know, they try and get one-day outings and uh, programs around the country. And then they also, there's tournaments around the world outside the uh, United States during the uh, PJ Tour season that they want to have some of the top American players come over. So they try and get us, you know, nice appearance fees and, and good deals to go over there. And, of course, our club deals and hat deals and clothing deals. And that, that's their job to do all that. Tell us a bit about that. How do you select the events you're going to play in the PGA and then outside the PGA? I think it's different for everybody. Um, you know, I just completed my sixth year on tour, so I'm, I'm learning this a little bit more. Some of the other guys who've been around know which courses they just don't want to play, which courses they always go to. And, uh, you know, they try and set their schedule to have a certain amount of rest, key their games up for the majors. Uh, there's a lot going into the scheduling. Personally, I feel like I've played too much over the last couple of years, so I'm going to try and cut back a little bit next year and see if Resting will help me play a little bit better in the weeks I play. Well, maybe it's good that you've won uh, so many uh, at a young age because you've got a young family now, right? Right, yes. Um, I, I, I love spending time with my family, and, um, you know, it's golf's going to be a long career, and, and uh, you know, just trying to get an early start on what, you know, what I hope to be a great career, and, uh, you know, you have the ups and downs, and, and uh, you know, right now things are going well, so, uh, you know, hopefully they'll offset the downs. Have you developed any other businesses outside of golf and outside of your family? Well, you know, we buy land here and there. You know, you get good good advice on uh, investing on land deals or maybe possibly stocks. And uh, but hopefully we we just have people who are smart enough to just do that for us. We don't, you know, I, I want to worry about as little as possible and just worry about playing golf. A couple seconds left here. Tell us about the sponsorships. Uh, how have you selected Sharps on your shirt, Titleist on your hat, Footjoy? I think there. Uh, how, do, how do you pick them? Uh, do they come to you, and how do you work the deals? Well, uh, early on in my career, when I was basically unknown, my uh, you know my management group that was their job to try and get me uh, you know in the group with somebody. And uh, Sharps has been a great company, you know, um, by Miller, Philip Morris company. So, and, and that has a lot to do with too. We, you know, you try and go for strong companies that have been around a long time, and they're going to be there a long time too. There's also that rare opportunity that a young up-and-coming company uh, wants to take a chance and you know maybe go for it. Um, it might be a risk, but then again, it could be financially very beneficial. Tell us about the clubs that have worked for you. Are you getting into the technology uh, changes, the graphite, the titanium, etc.? cetera? Um, I do use graphite in my woods, and that's it. I do metal, metal woods, too, which seems to be the norm now. I think everybody's in the metal woods with graphite. Uh, titanium, there's a possibility I could be using titanium head next year, but I, I've been, uh, I haven't been that fickle with um, you know, my equipment. I, I've been able to use different sets the last three years, and... I don't really tinker that much with them. Some of the guys are really into that. You know, they're checking clubs all the time. I know you want to run off and see your two-year-old son. Thanks so much for joining us, Lee. Sure, thank you. All right, congratulations. Lee Jansen, PGA Pro Golfer on Tee to Green.